Hello everyone. So in the last video we have seen like how actually we can create a data frame and this was the data frame which we have created. Let me show you display. Uh, if you want to read the data frame, we have to write a display and the DL. Alright. Uh, you will be able to see your data frame. So suppose if you want to see the schema, okay. So the data frame schema, how actually we can read. Uh, how actually we can check the schema so for that we have to write df dot print schema after that if you will execute this df dot print schema you will get to see this user is in integer format uh, name the for this column the schema is string uh, salary location date and all like this actually you can check the schema for your data frame okay now let us see how actually we can save this data frame into a csv file or any other file format so we have seen the read now we will see like how actually we can write in a csv file format so as we were doing a, what is our uh, db file location the dbfs location in this particular location actually we were uh, loading the data right so let us see like how actually you can read how what are the files which is already available into this particular uh, DBFS location. So whenever you are clicking on the, the data and whenever you are loading in the DBFS uh, location, it is getting saved. You can see whenever you will upload any file, this will get saved into a DBFS location. In this particular location, it will get saved like uh, file store table and these are the file which we have already uploaded okay now what actually we will see now how actually you can read this by ui you are able to see that but suppose if you don't want to use a ui how actually we can do so we have one db utils function okay db utils dot ls and the file location if you will pass and this is the location actually we were giving while reading the data right dot load and this is the file so similarly if you will write db dbutil dot fs dot ls so it will load all your file which is available in this particular file path location so it is a dbutils uh, utils uh, okay so you can see these are the files which is already available into this particular file location files file store table employee one dot csv and all okay now we have a data frame and we want to store into this particular file location into a new name for format okay how actually we can do we will see so we have a data uh, data frame okay what actually we have to write df dot write okay dot csv we want to save as a csv after that uh, you can pass uh, uh, header as a true okay if you want and uh, df dot write dot uh, csv uh, first let us try without header and all okay df.write.csv and the file path okay dot save and the file path i want to save into this particular location let us see whether it's working or not you can write df.write.format and the csv you can pass here dot save into this particular location You can see this this path is already exit but we have to give the name of the file also right because we are saving so let us give a random name dot as this i am i am saving as a aa.csv okay now if you want to check that go to this uh, execute this you can see it got saved into this particular file okay and if you want to read it we can read it 
but but suppose this is the file which is uh, which we have saved now suppose if you want to again save it so we have an option like you can pass dot mode dot override okay if the file is already available into that particular location and if you want to override you can pass dot mode and you can pass override and dot save okay so what actually it will do it will not give you any error it will save the same file into that particular location and it will overwrite whatever the file is already available you can see we can see only one a.csv because it got overwritten okay even you want to pass uh, any kind of the header and all for that also we have option in the option you can pass that uh, option as a header and all okay now let us try to read this okay because we have saved right now whether we are able to read this again or not spark dot read dot csv and this is the file location where actually i have saved whether i am able to read this or not i will select df1 and let me click on the display here let me see whether i am able to do that or not you can see i am able to read this particular file which we have saved okay